Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to uh, assign effects units to hotkeys and I'm also going to show you a pretty handy uh, kind of delay fade out effect that I like to use which is great for transitions. Uh, so first of all you need to make sure that your layout, uh, if you're on essential, see up here you've got your layout thing, make sure you're on extended. Uh, for the cases of this video I've made a new one called tutorial but it's basically the same as the extended layout. But that's just so you can see your effects units around here. All right? uh, for this one, also, if it's set over to the recording little tab there, make sure that's on effects unit here because we can be using effects unit 2. Well, I've set this onto the delay effect and let me just show you what that is going to sound like. Um, here's another thing, when you set the delay effect up, you'll notice that the dry and wet isn't going to be on, you need to turn that on just to make sure the effect's actually working and then I turn on the freeze button here as well which gives it a long tail um, here's how it sounds in practice so there you are, you get that long kind of echoing tail there which, which does eventually fade away completely um, you can actually change the amount of time it's going to fade for by messing with the feedback here. I mean, I just keep it at 50 because that's pretty convenient. Um, now, what you want is you want to be able to activate this without having to click on the effects units buttons because obviously using the mouse is kind of a hassle when you're mixing. Um, so, the way to sort this out is go over to your settings and you need to go to controller manager. Now in controller manager you should at the top where it says device you've got the different uh, kind of preset controller manager setups that you can have. Right? And it should say uh, you'll have like a track to scratch 2 default mapping generic keyboard. And you can mess around with this one and that's where you can put in your keyboard shortcuts. I've made a whole new one here, generic keyboard, let me just delete that because that was one I did earlier. Um, so here we are. In the case of you're doing this for the first time, I recommend just doing it with this one here. But I'm going to use this one just because it's going to be clearer what I'm doing. Okay, so first of all, you need to hit add in. That's going to do, give you the different types of commands you can make track to do. To get the effects working, you need to go to mixer. And in our case, we're focusing on effects unit 2. So I'm going to say effects unit 2 on is the command I want the uh, program to learn. Now I need to click on learn and teach it the key, which in this case is going to be uh, the number pad key 7. Maybe I'll just hit that. Um, now that's been assigned to turn on the effects unit 2. However, Tractor doesn't know which deck you want it to do, like which side. I mean, it doesn't know if you want it to be on the left side that you want it going on, or the right side, or both at once, or whatever. So you've got to go to assignment here, and say, in this case, we're going to say deck B. And now, the way it is now is that when I push that 7 button, in theory, oh, I've got to turn learn off, sorry. Yeah, now it's turning it on. At the moment, it's just when I hold it down, it comes on, and when I take my finger off, it goes off. That's because I've got the hold on the interaction mode. You need to switch that to toggle, or I like to switch it to toggle. Now, one push of the button turns it on, one push of the button turns it off. Okay, so that's set up now. Now I've made it so that when this track plays as well, you just hit the button and you get the fade out. So to hear this in practice, let's just drop a bit of um, and uh, shout out to the lads whose tunes I'm playing, which is Jams and Mike Ty and Psych. I can't remember who you buy Psych. I'm so sorry. Uh, anyway, here we go. There we go. That is the delay fade assigned to the keyboard. And if you've got any questions about this, if it's not clear, just hit me up in the comments and I'll try and 
sort out whatever it is you need to know.